Hey, my name's Eric, and thanks for escaping normal life with me. I'm traveling full time in this, my teardrop trailer. I've been living on the road for about four and a half months now, and while moving into a teardrop did take some adjustments, I have found a few ways to make it a little bit easier. So here are my five tips for living in a teardrop. Number one, organize. A teardrop is a small space, obviously. I think mine's roughly six foot by six and a half foot, something like that. So as soon as you stop organizing, it gets messy in there real quick. I just used the boxes I had at home. I had this box, an old plastic bin, and this bin kind of became things like my medicine cabinet back here. I have pretty bad allergies, so I had to do like a sinus rinse, um, some band-aids, um, some uh, throat drops, anything like that that I needed for medicine. Um, I also keep things like my heater in here. Right now, my fan is way over there because last night it was pretty hot and I slept with my fan on. But usually I keep my fan in this bin with the heater. Uh, this is where I keep the pee bottle. This is where I keep some extra toilet paper. This is where I keep my RV chemicals. So this helps break down the waste inside my toilet. Um, yeah, that's kind of like a uh, storage bin. I keep, so I do keep my, uh, this is my trash bag. And when I use wet wipes, I put those in here and zip this up. So that'll help keep the smells coming out of here and just inside the Ziploc bag. And then the same thing goes for my dirty clothes. I have this old uh, laundry bag or gym bag rather. And I keep that as a laundry bag. That way all my dirty clothes stay in that all zipped up and as well don't smell up the trailer. This is my power inverter and I actually taped it underneath here. So that way it's not just laying around on the floor. It's up out of the way. It's easy for me to turn on and turn off. This spot is where I usually sit uh, late at night when it's gotten dark and cold. Uh, I bought a small little chair from Walmart and I actually just prop my phone up here. And this little hook serves as a way to put my phone on, but also as a way to hold uh, my towel after I get done taking a shower. Inside my cabinets, I actually did organize my clothes up here on the far left. This is where I keep kind of like all my pants, jeans. Over here, I have things like boxers, but I also have some uh, thermal things like a hat uh, when it gets cold, some pullovers, some belts. I have some socks short shirts shorts everything in here so even my closets are uh, organized this area right when you walk in or crawl in i guess in a teardrop is kind of like my toiletries i have uh, my towel this is where i keep uh, shampoo and face wash mouthwash i have some extra shampoo that someone gave me here just kind of toiletries this is kind of i guess if you will call it my bathroom my keys are always hanging up here on the hook, so it's easy for me to grab no matter where I'm at in the trailer. And that's where I put my car keys and my trailer keys at night when I go to sleep. And then over here just kind of became my nightstand, I guess. Uh, this is just a plastic bin I got at Target. And it's got suction cups on it uh, that you're supposed to put in like a bathroom and it's supposed to stick to the wall, but they weren't sticking very well. So mine are just duct taped up there. But it's a great place for me to put my wallet at night, put my contacts when they're soaking in their case, put my glasses. Right now I have some hand sanitizer back here as well and just a little bit of smell good uh, spray that my friend made me. So it stays a little fresh in here. And then this is just all just extra stuff, extra contacts, extra saline solution. I think I have some USB cables in here and I have extra razors. Uh, I think I have some extra toothbrush in there. Just anything that I have, I kind of extra kind of laying over, gets it up out of the way. Uh, it's plenty of space for me to sleep in here. All this is is a plastic bin that you get, let's say a Target or a Walmart. It's supposed to stay on say a shelf, these little plastic slide outs. I use this little bungee cord so it stays shut when I'm driving. These things don't come open. Uh, but because it's designed to stay on a countertop, I duct tape mine up there. And even though it's a little loose in the corner, it's still up there pretty well. I even use a little floor mat right when you get in. So that way my feet don't get the area inside the teardrop dirty. I can just take this out and shake it off to get all the dirt off. Number two, learn how to back up your trailer with confidence. Learning to back up a trailer or an RV or a bigger camper, it's not really something you can be taught. It's really something you just have to practice at. First, I started in an empty parking lot. Then I learned to back up straight, trying to keep the trailer straight as I backed up, not trying to turn it into any parking spots or anything. 
trying to get more of a feel for the camper. Then eventually I started trying to learn to back it up into a turn. So if I wanted to go into a parking space that was at a 90 degree turn, get a feel for how to make that actually happen. Which way do you want to turn the wheel when you want the camper to go a certain way? I learned real quickly, it's all about small movements with the steering wheel. And when you make a bigger movement with the steering wheel, it really makes a bigger movement with the trailer. Eventually, I just started driving around neighborhoods, trying to get over, trying to get around curbs, around the sign, knowing that it'd be around other cars, but a little slower. Really, you wanna use your side mirrors as much as possible. That's gonna be the most helpful. The rear view mirror is really gonna be looking straight at the trailer, so that's not gonna be helpful. And if you have a backup camera on your car, it's gonna be looking straight at the camper too. So your side mirrors are really gonna be the most useful. Just keep your eye on those, make small movements with the steering wheel, and it's really not that hard. The great thing about this thing is it's so small, it's pretty much like trying to back up my car plus one. It's about the length of my car. So it's not that difficult to really back it up. Number three, scout it out. Before you get your rig into a spot you can't get out of, get out of your car and make sure you're okay to drive further. Walk up, see how good the roads are, See if they're too narrow, see if they're too rocky, see if you can turn around okay. You really don't want to be in a spot where you can't turn around. Number four, use shower caps to cover up your shoes when putting them inside your teardrop. This way the inside of your teardrop stays nice and clean and you don't track any of that outside dirt in. Number five, pee bottle. Just go ahead and get yourself a pee bottle. Seriously, just go ahead and do it. 